Hello everybody, my name is Hans. I'm a metal detectorist from Germany and if you are interested in my finds, just go to my channel. It's Terra Germania. I hope to see you soon. Hello there. This is just a quick video. The weather's been pretty terrible lately and um, I haven't been able to get out much. When I have got out, it's been windy and wet. No good for filming with a static shot from a tripod. So these next few clips are just things that I've found recently. Um, it's as much for my benefit as yours, because I can never remember what I found or where, where I found it or what I found it with. So I think there might be a hammered coin in here. Um, maybe it's a silver sixpence. And I cannot remember what else until I actually get into that memory card and have a look. But um, enjoy. It's a nine millimeter bullet casing from a handgun. Should we try it now? Yeah, we'll do it. Something else there? 80. Another nine millimeter casing. Is there like a hundred of them? <laughs> Must be loads of them around. I'd love to find the gun that they were from. I know that much. See what else you can find whilst I'm digging this. You never guess what it is. It's another bullet <laughs> casing. <laughs> Much bigger case than that one. Don't know what that's off. 303 maybe. Pretty big. There is something else that reads 1238. What's that? Gets anything off it. No, it should gloves. get something off it. It's probably only about two year old, Dad. What is it? Can't see it. Is that a two P? <laughs> it's not no, a two it's pence. Not a it's far too small for a two pence, man. What is it? I can't see it. Well, just just guess at the size of it. Okay. What do you think? I don't know. Dear me. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Look at the size of it, man. Look. It's a pound coin. So you found a pound. So our hunt hasn't been in vain. First coin of the day. Looks like a Georgian penny. What do you write? Uh, Tombat button. You reckon? Ooh. Oh, I don't know mine. <laughs> Looks hammered. It's very thin, isn't it? Aye. There's, this, there's the slightest little bit of writing down about four to five o'clock, if you imagine that as a clock face. So it's hammered silver of some sort, possibly Elizabeth the First. Looks like another coin. Tears. And it's a Victorian penny. Just a slight bit of writing on there. I don't think I'm ever going to be able to tell what it says, but it's definitely a little bag seal. It looks like a tiny little musket ball. It's a real small one, that one. It's out of a pistol. Musket pistol. That's ooh, another half penny. Not sure how old it is, but it's not really in very good condition. That looks like silver to me. I hope it's silver because it's damned wet today. 
volunteers get in there. George V, sixpence. And the date's 1933. I'm not going to rub it in case any of the viewers have a heart attack, but that's what it is. Beautiful. Well, this one nearly blew my ears off I'm using the e track today, and that gave 1240 reading. It's an old penny, but it's lying right on the top. It's, uh, who is it? George V. So it's the early half of last century. Seems to be in reasonable nick, apart from the fact that it's wet. This fellow was about six inches deep and it's kind of farthing sized. And it's been a long time since I found a farthing. And I don't think I found one of those before. That's a George the Fifth farthing. I normally find George the Sixth ones. There's Britannia on the back. And it looks like it's 1911. And that looks to be in pretty good condition as well. I'm pleased about that. Well, I've dug this, it gave a really jumpy signal, and I thought it was a big musket ball. But it obviously isn't a big musket ball. Oh, bollocks. I don't know what that is. It's got some sort of... It's obviously been, well, I don't know, it's been gilded at some point, because you can see the gold on it. And that was attached to that, so that it swivelled. That looks like some sort of stone in there. I don't think it'll be a precious one. Yeah, it looks like a that it looks like that's had a hole through it, and that would hang like a pendant or something. Just reading eighty-five and eighty-three and eighty-four. Eighty-five. So we're about here. Go over the, from the other way. So you're going that way. Eighty-seven. Right. So we're about there. But well, eighty-seven's good, isn't it? Yeah. What should be a tin can or something? Something tragic. <laughs> oh dear, what's that? Bay. What is that? <laughs> pump spray? Nitro <laughs> Nitrolingal pump spray. <laughs> We've gotta show that to Mum. What the hell that is? Pump spray. Huh? Sublingual spray. Must be for something under the tongue. Glycerol tr trinariate. I don't know what it is. Don't know. Does it smell nice? We'll give it to somebody that's ill. Tell them it'll cure them. 